Hello everybody and welcome back. For those of you who have been following this series, you already know that a few months ago I started out wanting to build another computer of my own and I pretty quickly found out that most of the parts that I needed were not available. So instead I took the bull by its horn and I set out to build a computer that would not need any parts that were not available. Instead, I, was, I would focus on what was available, which turned out to be very little. I started out making this breadboard, and uh, onto the breadboard I stuck an Arduino Zero and a 6502, uh, better said a, a Western Design Center 65CO2, and I had the CPU be the CPU and I let the Raspberry Pi just simply emulate all the unobtainable chips. So this did take some time um, to get to run, but in the meantime um, I have been able to make some uh, shields of my own. Uh, they weren't perfect, but they kind of get the job done. And I have one set up here, which is currently running a VIC-20 emulation. In the past weeks, I've uh, improved the code and uh, I have been in discussion with other developers. And um, I want to kind of um, get a, a small ecosystem running on this and uh, therefore I need to find out what is possible and what is not. Now, a week ago I was able to show you this little prototype of mine here uh, running, executing uh, 6502 code and even running some of the original unmodified Commodore ROMs up to the point where I was able to get a prompt uh, with the Commodore hello message. Uh, everything was still very much um, in prototype state and um, the operating system or the computer itself uh, didn't know there was a world out there that it could talk to or that would even talk back. So I improved on that. Um, now I am first of all capable of running a lot faster. Um, I have achieved a stable 2 megahertz uh, with the code that I have right now. I have some uh, acceleration code running with it that uh, makes it possible to overlap some operations and the whole thing has been super stable. Also, and that's probably the thing that took the longest, I was able to implement um, two chips that every 6502 computer needs and uh, in the case of the Commodore VIC-20 uh, those are the VIA chips. Uh, the VIA chips are responsible for a lot of things. Uh, one of them is I.O. and the second of them is timing. So this blinky cursor uh, took an incredible amount of work to get running um, and even more uh, did uh, the emulation of a keyboard. I now have a working keyboard and um, the Raspberry Pi is doing all the hardware abstraction stuff so I can hook up any USB keyboard and it will work with the emulator. Uh, granted some of the keys on the keyboard may not work because the the Commodore has no um, has no notion of them existing. Um, the VIC-20 knows 64 keys. That's it. Uh, with the exception of the restore key which is uh, wired up separately. Um, but we can get into that later. So with the now working keyboard, I can enter um, the shortest program there is. Yeah. 
and if I run it uh, you can actually see how fast this thing is going um, it is actually uh, quite a bit faster than a real VIC-20 would be uh, mainly because the implementation of the video chip is not stealing memory from the CPU or memory timing and secondly um, I'm running at twice the clock rate so the VIC-20 was running at 1 megahertz I'm running at 2. So what are the next steps? The next steps uh, will be updating the code so it learns to do more. Uh, I may go the route to implement a real VIC the way it was on the VIC-20 so I can have uh, real graphics. I may also uh, implement some sort of loading and saving of programs. The other thing that is running right now and um, it's been taking a lot longer than it should have, I ordered more boards uh, because I want to be able to try out um, other Raspberry Pis, faster ones, and I want to have uh, better debug facilities. Also, I want to explore the possibility of adding real hardware, real chips to, to this. It should work, uh, but I have not been able to really implement that. And uh, that might actually take a lot of work. Um, yeah, so the next things that I'm going to do is, uh, first of all, I'm going to publish the code. Um, the, the layout files are already updated. They are at the uh, newest version and uh, they should no longer contain any bugs, but I wasn't able to verify that yet. And uh, I also have a second board, uh, which is not published yet, but which has a different layout and it should make it possible to not only use uh, Pi Zeros, but also the real Raspberry Pis which would give you a lot more hardware to play with. Apart from that, uh, I'm not really doing a lot on the side. Uh, I am looking into uh, bringing the Commander X16 onto the board. I had a discussion with David Murray, the 8-bit guy, and um, yeah, he's, he's not against it. Uh, we talked a lot about um, the different possibilities with the Raspberry Pis and the way that they are used in different projects right now, uh, basically just as client hardware, um, the same way that it's used here. And um, yeah, it's, it was a real, real nice talking to him. Well, writing mails with, with him. But, um, yeah, that is where I'm going right now. Uh, really looking forward to it because uh, this thing is picking up speed uh, so quickly. And uh, I'm already at a point where I thought I would be within a month. So let's try to keep that going and build on that and uh, try to get some other unobtainium computer uh, simulated on this. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.